Welcome down to the first day at the convention center. Uh, gonna walk around today, check out some different companies, some meetings with people. It's gonna be a fun day. It's always a good time to walk around the show. There's so many incredible things, uh, incredible people. It's gonna be a good time. So this has to be one of my favorite things from the show that Arcos did. It's their course analyzer. They did this with Microsoft and here's the deal. It, it takes your data from the rounds you've done in the past, your distances, your dispersions, short, long, as well as data from the course itself and tells you what you should play. So if you play a driver, three wood uh, or versus a hybrid six iron wedge, what your score might be. And this blew my mind. I can't wait to do more with it. This is gonna be so cool. the learning curve and how biofeedback can be a really useful tool to you. So whilst I think the K-Vest is a fantastic tool from a diagnostic standpoint, to me I think it's helped me tremendously with an array of students from the beginning student and I work for complete beginners all the way through to some of the best players in the world. I've found it to be a great tool to expedite the learning and the communication process because as coaches and teachers Whilst we might have a multitude of feels that people have verbalized to us over the years, it's really challenging to know what it's gonna feel like to one individual. And so I always say, the only person I know what something really feels like is to is me. You, know, you can do all this stuff, but haven't you already bought enough stuff? Haven't you already got enough certifications? Haven't you? Or why are you not making two hundred thousand bucks a year? So the idea is that if you place those things onto a broken system, they don't work. But if you apply that, and let's just go ahead and say that you go to a coaching model and you say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy two of those. I got that blast motion thing for putting, and I can put two students over there on blast motion for three hundred bucks, and they can stand there and putt. Well, I have two other kids over here and they're on that video that Pat Parrish has put up and, he, and, he, and they're doing this. Well, I've got two other kids over there and one of them's sitting down with me having a 15 minute conversation about college and the other's one's on your one flight scope or your one radar or in the net. Well, that's freaking genius because now that's helping me get my six to one ratio, getting great results, having people see I've got technology and that's worth investing in. about what I call the six essential mental skills. And there are a ton of things you'll hear on the mental side, and there's stuff that's out there, there's tools that are built. What I feel like my job is, is to look at all that stuff and go, but which ones are really the most important ones? Super good time at, uh Certified golf coaches yesterday morning, Dr. Jensen, Henry Brown, super good. Uh, got the weakest link. If you never heard this, Dr. Rick talked about this on the, uh, the Unlocking Performance Summit that we did. And I talked about how your weakest link, the weakest skill that you have will break under pressure. Uh, and that maybe that it's not all mental, right? You, you might say like, all right, I'm a mental case. I need to work on my mental game. Maybe that's not the reality. Maybe you need to work on your skills. Maybe you need to, you need to work on your training. Uh, I think it's it's a reality that a lot of us don't want to face that our skills just aren't good enough to say that we're mental. Super good. Thanks for having me along, guys. Uh, today, Saturday, headed home. It's been such a good week. Such a good week. So many great people. Um, it was great to talk to, to everyone that, that said hello. Uh, thank you so much for saying hello. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Uh, and we're going to keep going. This is super, super inspiring to be here. 
Really excited to release more content this year to improve the education that we've been doing. I want to up my game to help you all more. So we're just going to keep pushing it forward.